Hi friends, it's James and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is part 5 in creating a Discord bot in Python. In the last episode we looked at getting our bot to play an audio file in a voice channel. In this video we're going to be getting our bot to play the audio from a YouTube video. However, before we get into that, there's just one thing that I quickly want to announce. So then, what is this announcement? Well then, I've actually just set up a Discord server. And what is the purpose of this Discord server? Well then, it's for you to be able to ask any questions that you have when building your Discord bot. So if you feel that the question that you want to ask is too long for the comments of a YouTube video or that you want to share some code along with your question to make it more easier to understand and for us to be able to help you fix it. Well then this Discord server that I've just set up will be perfect for that. So if you're thinking that you don't need any help when creating your Discord bot, well then still consider joining because you might be able to help someone else with their code. So this Discord server isn't just related to Discord bots, it's also going to contain announcements and general stuff to do with this YouTube channel. So please do consider joining. So then, I'll leave a link in the description for where you can join this Discord server. I'd love to see you there. Anyway, now let's jump straight into the video. So then, as I said, in this video we're going to be getting our bot to play a YouTube video. So then, before we get into writing the code, I need to quickly go over the legality of this with you. So then, the way we get YouTube bots to play the audio from a YouTube video is by using a package called YouTube DL. And essentially what this does is this downloads the YouTube video as an MP3 file. However, the process of actually downloading the YouTube MP3 file technically breaks the YouTube's terms of service. And actually in some countries may actually be illegal. So then, this video is purely for educational purposes. It's just to show you how you would theoretically do it. I do not encourage at all you do this yourself as you will be breaking YouTube's terms of services and in some cases depending on the country you're currently in you may even be breaking the law. However if you do decide to copy the code and use it in your Discord bot I cannot and won't be held responsible if you do get in trouble. So as you'll see later in the video I'm not actually going to be running the code as I personally don't want to be breaking YouTube's terms of services. Because the way I think of it is if I owned a website and a user came on and they broke my terms of services, I wouldn't be happy. So basically that's my motto behind this. So yes, as I said, this video is purely for educational purposes and the code in here is only to show you how you'd theoretically do it. So if you do decide to use it in your Discord bot, I cannot be held responsible. But anyway, let me show you how to theoretically do it. So the first thing that you would theoretically do is open up the terminal on your computer and install YouTube DL by running the command pip install YouTube underscore DL and this would install YouTube DL onto your computer. So then, what actually is YouTube DL? So YouTube DL has loads and loads of features, but one of the things that it can do is it can download YouTube videos, the audio from YouTube videos, as MP3 files. So you've now installed YouTube DL and you know it works. So we actually have to theoretically import it into this file. So you'd come to your top and you'd create a new line and you would type this import YouTube underscore DL just like that and that would now mean that the YouTube DL package is now imported into your project and then if we scroll down we want to create a command. So what we can do is we're going to actually copy our join command that we made in the previous video. So if we copy this and then we come down here and we can paste it. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to rename what it's called. We're going to change it from join to play. 
And now what we're going to do is after this CTX here, we're going to add a comma and then we're going to type URL colon. Oh, excuse me, URL colon and then string like that. So then what does this URL colon string do? Well, and essentially, let me explain. So if we go down here and let's pretend we're typing into our Discord channel. So what we'd type is we'd type exclamation mark because that is our prefix. If we go up here, exclamation mark, like we did in previous videos. And then we type play because that is the name of this command. And then after the play, after we do a space, we input the URL. So let's just say HTTPS. There we go. So let's just pretend we're playing a video on YouTube, even though technically no video would be playing because YouTube.com, if you go to that URL, doesn't actually have a video to be able to be downloaded, if you see what I'm saying. But anyway, back to here. So essentially what we're saying is we're playing, so we're running this command, and then we're passing in the URL that we specified. And this is what this is doing here. And the colon str is just telling Python that this thing here is a string. Basically, a string is just like letters, characters. So currently at the moment, if we were to run this play command, it all it would do is it would join the voice channel that we would be currently in and play that piano file that we used in the previous video. So let's just say theoretically, we have the code here in the middle to uh, download the YouTube, I can't spell, apologies, download the YouTube video. Let's just pretend for a second that this bit, this line here, downloads the YouTube video that we specify, even though we know it's a comment. But let's just say theoretically it does. Essentially, what would happen is when we run this command, is our bot would join the voice channel that we're in. It would then download the YouTube video, and then we would get um, our FFmpeg to play that downloaded YouTube video in the voice channel. I hope that makes sense in what I'm explaining. And we could remove the join part of this function. So we could get it so the bot wouldn't join the voice channel each time. It would just download the YouTube video and then play it. However, I will remove that a bit later in the video. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to write the code to download the YouTube video. So then, so what's the first thing that we need to write in our code? Well then, it is this. This is a JSON object that contains key info for when we're downloading the video from YouTube. So we're going to be passing in this information when we download the video. This is to make sure that when we download the video, it downloads in the correct format and the best possible format. I found this on the internet. I did not come up with it myself. This is just like a commonly used um, preference JSON object. So yeah. Okay, so what we're going to write now is this. And I found this from the documentation that comes with YouTube DL package. So what we're going to type is this. We're going to type with YouTube underscore DL. And this is referring back to the package that we imported here. We then are going to type this, we're going to type dot and then capital YouTube like that and then DL like that and then open and close brackets. And inside of these brackets, we're going to be passing in this options JSON object. And so to do this, what we're going to do is literally just type this name into here. And so yeah, if we do that, uh, underscore ops, there we go. And we've now passed it in and then we need to type as YDL. There we go. And now if we come down here, make sure it's indented properly like this. And you want to type YDL dot download. Sorry, it would help if I could spell, wouldn't it? Download and then open brackets and then square brackets and then URL. There we go. And essentially this URL here is referring to the URL that is passing in which is exactly what we wanted to. And this YDL is referring to this, which then refers to this. I hope that makes sense. So essentially, we're, this is just like a shorthand for this. I hope that makes sense in what I'm explaining. And now I just realized we actually need to import one more Python package. Luckily, this Python package comes pre-installed when you install Python. And this one is literally OS. So to do this, all you type is import OS. There we go. And now if we come back down here, we can type 
for file in OS dot list dir open and close bracket double speech marks and then full stop and then a forward uh, forward what's that called a forward um for the life of me it slipped what it's called <gasps> I'm just calling it forward bracket even though it's not a bracket for the life of me I cannot remember what that is called anyway and then colon so then I'm going to come back and explain this in a second what it all means so we're going to quickly write the code and then we're going to come back and I'm going to explain what it means so you understand what it's doing then we're going to type if file dot ends width brackets speech marks dot mp3 apologies mp3 there we go and then another colon and then Oh, make sure you're actually outside of the brackets like I I just didn't do then. So make sure the colon is outside of the brackets. And then you want to type OS dot rename, open and close brackets, file, comma, and then we want to give it the new name song dot mp3. And then make sure the bracket closes again. And now, and now we can do this. We can come down here. And we can rename this piano.wav or whatever it was called in your case to song.mp3. Just like that. So now let me explain exactly what this is doing. So as I previously said, this is like a shorthand for this. So we download what the URL is given to us. So let's say they inputted the URL to, let's just say, um, YouTube Rewind 2019. Let's say that was inputted here. It would then call this YDL to download YouTube Rewind 2019 and it would then download it to this directory. We then want to go into this directory. We want to find the file that ends in .mp3. So in this case, YouTube Rewind 2019 would end in .mp3. Our code would go in. It would find the file that ends in mp3 and it would rename it to song.mp3. I hope that makes sense in what I'm explaining. And essentially now our code just runs that downloaded file. Essentially what we've just done in this video is, is we've actually added a bit of extra code that will download the YouTube file, the YouTube mp3 file. And that is everything you would need to theoretically get your bot to play a YouTube video, the audio from a YouTube video in a voice channel. So yes, as I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not actually going to be running this code as personally, I don't want to break YouTube's terms of services as I explained earlier, and it could actually be against the law. So again, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't copy this. If you do, then I cannot be held responsible. But yes, I hope you found this video interesting and that you learned a lot about how you would theoretically get your bot to play a YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video at all, please do consider smashing the like button as it would really help it out in the YouTube algorithm. So then, what are we going to be doing in the next episode of this Discord bot series? So then, we're going to be bringing this audio subsection, in a sense, of this overall series to a close. So in the next video, I will show you some really cool other things that you can do with audio files, with some other cool commands that you wouldn't actually think you could do, which would actually spice your bot up a lot. But then after that episode, after we've concluded the audio subsection of this overall Discord series, we're going to be starting a whole nother range of cool things that we can do to our bot to turn it into a fully functioning Discord bot for your server. As in there's some things on there that will literally blow you away and I can't wait to show you how to do it so make sure you stay tuned for that so yeah um, if you're looking forward to that please do smash the subscribe button as it would really help me out and also it'd let you know when I upload those videos so you don't miss them but just before I bring this video to an end I just want to quickly remind you again I've got that discord server set up so if you've got any questions to do with your discord bot or you just want to have a general chat with me then yeah please do consider joining the link will be in the description but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it interesting and I'll catch you all in the next one See ya!